welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 348, NASDAQ's up 264, SPs are up 60, gold contract uh, trading up uh, $3.20 at $17.39 an ounce. You get silver flat, $19.17 an ounce. Platinum up 22 bucks, $8.63 an ounce. Light sweet crude up four and a half dollars, hundred and two dollars ninety one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten year note down twenty five ticks right now, trading one eighteen oh eight. The thirty year up a full point and a half at one thirty eight thirteen. And king dollar, king dollar right now is flat, trading out at a price point of one oh seven one thirty six. The euro is at one oh one. The yen is at one thirty six, and the British pound is at one twenty to one. The U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S and P's? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get price. There's no doubt about that. But guess what? The, the contraction in volume is pretty dramatic. So you got 40 million shares traded today. Um, and the, the, what you're going to have here, you're going to have a contraction even from yesterday, which is pretty intense because yesterday was light volume. Did 70 million yesterday. You're doing 49. You'd probably do 55. You know, the swing has 86. The top of that swing is uh, that 393. And I suspect that's what we'll go for tomorrow. I mean, I think what you're going to see here is more than like we're going we're gonna to hold price. And, you know, come into Friday, you'll have even more contraction. And the real question is going to be, what does it do with that swing? You know, bottom line, we'll see whether it gets above it, closes underneath it, gets above it, stays above it. And the, the ratios there, how they go, folks, if it gets above it and closes underneath it, that's going to be a failure price on volume. You, you go right back downtown, downtown. If we stay above it on price, that's going to go fill the gap. So the top of that is uh, 393. That's the swing. The gap is 401.44. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX uh, set up the same way. The difference with the NDX is that the NDX had some strength yesterday. It had, uh, had some volume yesterday. Guess what? No more volume today, man. You get uh, 39 million shares traded. Yesterday we did uh, 63. Bottom line, you know, the swing up there only has 54. Um, you know, but guess what? It's the, and the swing point on this is 296.57. We hit 295.22. Uh, so I suspect, hey, we'll see. We'll see if it might test it today, man. Test it today, that's going to be pretty cool. But I, I'm like, actually, let's go look at the MQs. Let me look at this for a second. So if I bring up the futures, take a look at these futures, this is how they're set up. Yeah, it's not going to test it today. You know, the, the, the thing is, it's so, that's so intriguing. You see, at the open and bar, that's where all the volume was this morning. And on a longer basis, that's, a, that's exactly what's going to go back to, which is another 143 points downtown. You have nothing that's going on up here. You know, I, but I suspect we're, we're going to stay at a higher price. Gold. Gold contract out here trading at a price point of uh, 1738. And, you know, you get a sideways move. There's not much action happening here. What has... Now, check this out. Now, this is going to get interesting, right? So, on the dollar, right, what you have is this, folks, is that this dollar, you know, we're at 107, and the next swing is that 121, okay? So, you know, when you look at that, it's okay, man. My take is that that's where we're going. That being said, though, let's check this out. This is kind of interesting because what has happened, because of the dollar going up so dramatically, this UUP has got some, they got like 939 million into the UUP, um, which is very unusual, okay? Now, when you look at the UUP, this is where it's going to get really interesting, man. If this UUP, now let's say if the dollar closes down tomorrow, I mean, opens down tomorrow, this signal up here, this would... Bottom line, this is a tri-star doji. So if this does trade down, that puts on the table that this dollar just may not go to that 121. So this is going to be kind of cool watching how this shakes out. 
It's very hard, number one, to get a TriStar Doji. And what happens is this, is that you get a gap away, then you get little tiny bars, just like we got here, then you get a gap down. And we have the makings of it, except for the gap down. So we'll see where this shakes out, man. I mean, pretty wild. Uh, bonds, notes and bonds, they continue on higher price. We hit the 3% mark once again. Um, bottom line is that when you take a look at the, the setup inside the note and bond market, well, the, the Fed was very clear yesterday, man. I mean, you're either going up 50 basis points or 75 basis points in July. Um, you know, we'll see where that's, gonna, where that's gonna shake that out. But you can see, uh, let's see why. There you go. You can see the bond market right now. Uh, all that managed to do it got up to the swing point of that 120.19. Yesterday we hit the 120.16. So you're three ticks away from it. It couldn't handle it. Now you're going to be right back downtown. You know. So um, bottom line, that wants lower price, higher yields. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You get Advanced Micro up four dollars and twenty cents. You get Apple up three fifty. Uh, Amazon's up 240. You got, uh, let's see, uh, Tesla's up $38. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, folks. Excuse me. We have uh, Intel up a buck 25. You got uh, Facebook up $2. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. What you have, you had Lucent's up uh, 9% or a buck 60. You have uh, Moderna up seven, seven and a half percent. Clack is up seven percent, and Marvel Technologies is up six and a half. Taken away from Charter Communications is down two. Let's go over to Clack. Let's see how this semiconductors are doing. That's up twenty-one bucks or seven percent. Yeah, no volume. Okay, so you get a nice kind of turn bounce going, but there's nothing here, man. That's the real bottom line. Clack, you know, bottom line broke out its lows. You came down here at 780 million shares. You're up on 330. That's the typical uh, route that uh, lower prices continue coming at you. We go take a look at the uh, King Dog Amazon out here. So this is cool. We, we were looking at this yesterday. So real, what you want to do when we get to the swing po points, folks, is you, you want to be able to put a few different equities together and Amazon's going to be a good one you know because Amazon's going after the swing of 117.98 it needs 62 million shares at 43 today now that could get that 62 tomorrow and that would be a nice heads up to understand where that NDX in general wants to go stay right there folks we'll come right back